Thank you. Hey guys, this is Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. We are live with these three amazing advocates, talents, wonderful human beings. We've got Kai Lyons. We've got Rhea Clark, and we have Toya Lewis on the show today, and we're going to talk about Jewels on Purpose, which is their event coming up on April 25th, which is this Sunday. The link will be in the comments later on, so you guys can register, get involved. Welcome, everybody. How are you today? Hi, how are you? How are you? Amazing. Especially with the three of you, got, three of you ladies here. All right, so the audience loves origin story. They want to know about the because we want to learn, lead up to the journey as to how we got to Jules on the purpose. Uh, but Rhea, Rhea, of course, you're, a, you're an alumnus on the TED show. So we're going to start with you. You're going to give us a little background on you. And, um, and ladies, if I do this, which I'm going to do for Rhea right now, I'm still here. The ladies are still here. We're just giving you front and center. So, Rhea, kick it off for us. Oh, hi. My, my name, of course, is Rhea Clark. I am a CEO and founder of Wine and Conversation. And I just previously became an author woo, 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 of my book, There's a Message in Your Mess. <laughs> And I'm um, just a woman that's advocate for women um, to talk about the different things in the community, to embrace a lot of the issues that are not discussed in the community. So I like to provide a platform for men and women and children. Um, I have different events twice a year of different topics that we like to discuss in detail about the issues that we're facing in our community. Um, so um, that's usually, that's what I do. And then I go around and speak at different other programs like this one we're doing this Sunday, the Jewels on Purpose, Girl, Go Get Your Crown, which will be this Sunday. I, I missed that part. <laughs> Girl, Go Get Your Crown. Yes. <laughs> so I I'm excited about being a part of that. So part of my mission is to also go to different um, events and speak about empowering, encouraging, uplifting. I also not only want to do things to help in the community, but I also like to support my sisters and their future endeavors and what they want to do in the community. So I, I love to do that as well. I love it. And thank you for organizing this. All right, Toya, we'll go with you. We'll start back with you. Toya, tell us a little bit about you, your background. Hi, hi. my name is Toya, and uh, we will be vendors at the Jewels on Purpose. Our company name is The Broken Plate, along with my friend's sister. Uh, we are the owner of The Broken Plate. Uh, we are doing catering and events, um, and we are just excited about the opportunity i was a speaker at jewels on purpose event um last year and it was a wonder wonderful event such a powerful and um uplifting um event encouraging event you know uh, women lifting other women up and that is what we need a lot out in um our community now you know um we're I, i'm grateful for uh kim who's such a, a pillar um in the community um this is something I normally would not be doing, but this is something that, you know, she, she's speaking to me a lot, a lot, how to use my voice and to not be um, such a muzzle because there's a lot of women who out who's out there that need to hear my voice, my story and the yes. story behind our business. You know, me, me and my, my business partner, my friend, we're two fused women that are gracefully broken um, that's coming together to bring comfort and soul food to, you know, the community uh, while providing um, exec, uh, customer service in the community. I love it. What's the name of your company again? It's called The Broken Plate. Love it. That's so good. Thank, Thank you for grateful, sharing that. Grateful, even better testimony. I love it. All right. All right. Last but not least, Kai How you doing? We're going to take your mic on. We're going to put it on and we're going to talk to you. How are you today? I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. Um, well, my name is Kai Lyons. I am also a CEO and the proud founder of the KLR Group, which is a real estate firm. 
Um, I have a team of ladies where we all um, are very passionate about real estate. And we also are very adamant about teaching um, people how to build generational wealth through real estate is what we do. Um, I have over, I want to say a little bit over 20 years of experience, um, not just in real estate, but also in mortgages as well. So I, I'm a little you diverse. Are a baby. Say that again. Started as a baby. Yes, yes, I was a baby. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. And so now not only are we helping families become homeowners, we also help um, families sell, relocate um, here to Florida. We also um, I'm building homes. Now I'm into developing and flipping and investing and different things like that. So all the information and knowledge and experience that I have, I try to pass that on to my community as well. We all are definitely doing an amazing job, and this is not the first Jewels on Purpose. So, Rhea, tell us what that even means. First of all, I love it. I love anything that has the word Jewels and Purpose in it, so you threw it all together. Um, I want to know about Jewels on Purpose and what that actually means. How did that all start? You're on mute. Mute. <laughs> Oh, sorry go. about that. Actually, it was it started. Um, it was started by Kim Hill. She's the actual one who um started um Jewels on Purpose. Um, her brand I'm Taylor Made. Um, she started this, and then I think this is maybe her third one. And she has been speaking to women. She's a very beautiful person. She is definitely a woman of God, and she lets God use her to pick her spe her speakers. She let God to use her to pick her vendors. She's very, very um strategic about who she wants to be a part of her event to make sure that it's um it's um powerful and successful. And um jewels what um means to her, we're all jewels. We all are different types of jewels. We all can help and you know, motivate anybody. We all have a story to tell. You know, we all have gone through a lot. We don't look it, but we've been through a lot. And we use that time. We use our voice to help other women who can't speak. Or like like Toya said, some people have to pour into other women to give them their voice to be able to speak about what they've gone through. A lot of women don't want to talk about their past. A lot of women don't want to talk about what they've been through. But we are going to make sure that we feed into these women come Sunday, um, April 25th at 2 p.m. Um, there it is. So, <laughs> so that you can, so you can learn to use your voice to heal. You have to get that stuff out of you to heal. And when people hear your story, you will be amazed at what other women will say. I wish I could have done that. Or how can I talk to her so I can heal? And when you heal yourself, then you could be a better version of yourself to be able to be there for other people. So I think this event is going to be powerful. I actually went to the one last year. I was a guest and it absolutely changed your life. The singing, the food, the door prizes, the vendors, um, everything she does, it just works together. So I'm just so excited to see what she has planned this Sunday because she's definitely a humble and grateful person. You, um, She she loves what she does and, and she does does it so effortlessly. So I'm so proud of her and I'm glad she asked me to be a part of it. So um it's Jules exciting, on purpose. Right? Yes, it's very exciting. Um and we just get a chance to minister to other women. We are we're expecting almost a hundred guests. So I'm excited. Wow. All right. So Toya, you mentioned something earlier about uh broken. So I know that's the name of the company, but you talked about broken people, I think. Talk about that because I think if somebody's watching, they want to know what am I going to get out of it? What are, what are we trying to accomplish uh, at the event on Sunday for Jewels Jewels on Purpose? Okay, we we we're actually getting asked that a lot. Um, what's the meaning behind the broken plate? Um, and the meaning behind that is that we are gracefully broken. We have been through some things. We have been through trauma. We've been through hurt. We've been through pain. Um, God has broken us gracefully, and we are still standing in the midst. We are still standing strong. We are still um, overcomers. We are achievers. We are conquerors. And uh, other women are too. Like Rhea was saying, uh, women are being poured into so that uh, – they get the courage to speak their story. What we go through is not necessarily for us. 
And remember, you can always eat off a broken plate. You can be broken. And when I say eat off a broken plate, I don't speak um, that in a natural. I speak that in a spirit. You can eat off the broken plate because we're being filled by the things that God fulfill us with, by the thing that God pours into us, by the thing that God tells us who we are in him and not who the world says we are in him. So if you broken, you still can eat and you still can get full and you still can, your, 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 your thirst can still be quenched off of a broken plate, even a broken cup. I mean, who isn't broken, right? And I think that's the thing that is so cool about your guys, you, you all story is that we all have this broken part of us. We all are striving to figure out how to piece it together and fix it, make it better so that either our kids or future generations or our lives are not totally based on being broken all the time. But what I love about what you're doing is you're embracing the broken, which is such a scriptural thing, which I love. Um, and you're embracing them and wanting them to come so that they actually, instead of feeling broken, feel like that jewel. Right. I mean, isn't that what you want people to leave feeling like, all right, I could be broken, but I'm still a shiny gem, a shiny jewel, an amazing human being. As far as God is concerned, I am just an, an amazing person that he loves. And so you guys are really trying to encourage what I gather. You're trying to encourage people to realize you're still a jewel. Now let's figure out how to get you out of some of the mindset that you have and empower you, uh, encourage you and make you understand that you're not alone in the struggle that you're uh, going through. Exactly. Yes, maybe. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Did, did, a, did, a, did a dude yes. actually summarize that all right? I hope <laughs> <Yes. it's> awesome. <laughs> we are perfectly. <laughs> Um, all right, Kai, I have I have not talked to you. You, you uh, I think everybody's broken, right? So we all have this thing. So when you go, you're sharing, but aren't you also learning and filling in some of those broken pieces too as you're giving back? Absolutely, absolutely. And I actually, um, I, I thought about writing a book and Rhea may have to encourage me to do this, but um, I actually- you know, um, you know she will. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. It crossed my mind. It was a it was a season that, you know, I felt like everybody was pulling from me. Um, I was Kai the broker, and I just felt like I was Kai the broken. I was broken inside. I was dealing with a death of my brother and I was just going. And it, it was times where I was just driving the car. And I'm leaving one showing and I have a client following me and I'm crying until I get to the next um, showing and I'm trying to um, dry up my eyes. And I'm like, I'm just so broken. And I was sitting in a um, a a conference a couple of years back and a person was speaking and they said, you know, make sure before you pour into somebody else that you're full. And I'm like, I'm pouring into everyone and I'm not, I'm just broken inside. I'm just going, just going, just going. And, and when I was invited to the last Jewels on Purpose, um, that was another pivotal moment for myself where I'm just surrounded by so many women. And it made me feel like some of the stories that I heard last year made me feel, put me in a comfortable place saying you're in your purpose. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. It was people that spoke about, you know, generational curses and different things like that. And I was able to speak and let people know that there's some things that you can real estate that you can help break those generational curses. So it made me feel like, yes, you're in purpose, you know. But I have also learned. I have to be full and let God full, fill me up. And whatever anybody gets is going to be the overflow. I got to stay full, you know, and Amen. these type of events that awesome. she's putting together, that Kim's put together every year is where you can go and get full. Because sometimes you're the leader, you're the head and you don't have anybody else to lean on. But this type of event is where you get in contact with other women and they feel and you feel like, OK, it's just not me. We most of us are all CEOs and leaders and different things like that. So it's just a great environment for all of us to be in. Yeah. I I absolutely love that, and I thank you for sharing that because I think that is where we're, what we're all feeling. I think yeah. all of us have that kind of feeling of, um, 
I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I feel like I'm the only one going through it. And it's so powerful to have someone else say, look, I went through this. And then you go, oh my God, I went through that too. Or I'm going mm-hmm. through that now. And you realize you're not alone. Uh, and you realize that somebody else might have already gone through it. So guess what? They've got some knowledge for you. Mm-hmm. Maybe some ways for you to get through it easier or not make the same mistakes they did. Uh, but it's so powerful to realize you're not alone in the universe because that's what a lot of people feel when they're going through the things that they do. Kim Hill just came on. So I Kim. I don't know if she can hear us. Well, she was on. She's not anymore. Um, but we're gonna. That's OK. Um, all right. So tell us about the event because we're starting to run out of time. Give me how people can register. I know we're going to share the link. But tell them a little bit about where and when this Sunday, April 25th. How about you, Rhea? Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just figured it would be you, but it could be any of the, any of the amazing um, people. Can def- it's definitely this Sunday. And um, e- you can go to eventbrite.com. You can search Jewel on per- Jewels on Purpose, and it will come right up. It will be April the 25th, this Sunday at 2 o'clock. Um, we have a few tickets left, so you better go ahead and get your ticket because it's definitely going fast. As soon as we put these tickets out, they were half gone. So, yes, go to eventbrite.com, search Jewels on Purpose, and it will pop right up. And this will be this Sunday, April 25th at 2 o'clock. Um, the, per- the um, person who's on this, um, this is Kim Hill. Um, we're Deb. You can also reach us on Facebook page, Jewels on Purpose. We have a public page, so they can go there if they have any questions. Um, she is on Facebook, so if anybody have any questions or anything for her, you definitely can reach her there. Fantastic. All right, Jewels on Purpose. Go to Eventbrite. Search dot com. Search for that. Uh, the other two ladies keep getting on and off. It's just the internet. It's not them. Uh, so <laughs> Kai, Toya, Ria, thank you so much for what you're doing in the community. You all are hungry for this. You reach out to me all the time about this kind of stuff. And so this is something that actually may change your life, help you realize that you're that jewel. And we're going to do it all purposefully and intentionally. And in my opinion, according to God's plan and all of your faith and all of that good stuff. Uh, thank you all for sharing your story. Tell the other ladies we are sorry. We miss them, but we'll get them back on. Uh, and again, we're going to share it at eventbrite.com in the comments. And then we will, uh, if you can't find it, reach out to me. Reach out to Kai, Toya, or Rhea. And we'll get you to the right place. God bless all of you, everybody. You too. Thank you so much for having us. You have a good day. Thank you. you guys are amazing. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Go get your crown. Go get your crown. I got a crown. Can I wear it? All right. We'll see you all later. Bye.